This is Let's Talk with Liz, and I'm Liz. Hi, my YouTubers. Welcome to the Let's Talk with Liz show. Hi, everyone. Today, we're diving into an important question that many people ask, are all rich people greedy? It's a topic that often sparks strong opinions, but as Christians, it's essential to look at this through the lens of the Bible. So let's seek truth grounded in scripture and find out what wealth and morality really mean. The Bible has a lot to say about wealth. In 1 Timothy 6.10, Paul writes, For the love of money is the root of all evil. Notice it says the love of money, not money itself. Wealth isn't inherently evil, but when it becomes an idol, it can lead us away from God. As Christians, we're called to steward whatever God blesses us with, whether that's a lot or a little. Let's take a look at some wealthy figures in the Bible. King Solomon, Job, and Joseph of Arimathea were all rich men, but their wealth didn't define them. It was their relationship with God. They used their resources to serve others and honor the Lord. Solomon built the temple. Job was known for his generosity, and Joseph provided his own tomb for Jesus' burial. But yes, wealth can also be dangerous when it leads to pride and selfishness. Luke 12, 15 reminds us, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Jesus calls us to examine our hearts. Are we accumulating wealth for personal gain or are we using it to bless others and glorify God? So are all rich people greedy? Absolutely not. Wealth can be a powerful tool for good if we use it wisely and generously. Proverbs 11.25 says, A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Generosity is key. God doesn't measure us by how much we have, but by how we use what he has given us to serve others. At the end of the day, wealth itself is neutral. It's how we approach it that matters. God looks at our hearts. Are we faithful stewards of what he has entrusted to us, or do we let money become our master? Let's remember Matthew 6, 24. You cannot serve both God and money. We are called to serve God above all else, using whatever blessings we have to advance his kingdom. Thank you for watching. If you found this message helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more faith-centered content. Remember, true wealth is found in a heart that serves the Lord.